Happy Tuesday, YouTube. It's a uh, charging day. Doing a little low pressure refrigerant charging here. See, I got a 1,000 pound cylinder filled with uh, about 700 pounds of uh, R123. So what I did initially was I heated the tank and I charged my chiller which was at uh, about 230 microns with vapor till I got above freezing on the PT chart which was, oh I don't know, four inches? Not four inches of vacuum, I was well above freezing. Anywho, I switched over to liquid uh, for shits and giggles, I still got the heater going. Figure a little more pressure in here can't hurt. As you can see, my sight glass here, if I choke off this ball valve, that liquid is going in there a pretty good clip. The ball valve all the way open, it's just pouring in. So I raised the tank up off the ground to remove any head pressure there is any from going from the floor up to the connection point now, I know it's probably overkill but whatever I can't help myself so I got the tank bottom higher than that connection there to the evaporator and I just kind of tied up my hose I know it's a little dip it ain't perfect anywho I'm just trying to the least amount of restriction um, I don't have a scale hanging on the tank today because I've got another tank hanging on the other chiller over yonder because I'm uh, recovering vapor uh, today. So we'll see. But based on the way this sight glass is flowing, man, I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm going to get all this liquid in in a couple hours tops. We're going to find out. Anywho, that's how I'm charging. I'd be interested to know what you guys do. You guys raise the tank up like that? Am I wasting my time? I don't know. I think it's pretty good. So, anyway, that's all I got. Thanks.